Right, Th those who know me know I'm not a big fan of DCC. I always find it horribly complicated. But um, Backman assured me the uh, Dynamis Ultima system is easy to use. So I'm here with Ben Pollard from Backman. I'm gonna get a bit of a tutorial on the very basics of using a loco. Imagine the scene, this is Ben's layout and he's at an exhibition, needs me to cover while he goes for lunch and I'm sitting there looking at it. I've never seen one of these before. How quickly can I be up and running so that he can go away and eat his sarnies without worrying that I'm breaking the train set? Ben, can you talk us through the basics then? Okay, assume I've never seen this before, which is pretty accurate. What are we looking at? Well, this is your operating interface. It's which very is straightforward. Just a touch screen touch in screen this case. Touch screen operated. Uh, you, to change the points, you just tap the points on the screen and they change on the layout. And we can hear it changing there and you can actually see the green line is pointing yeah, in the appropriate place. to indicate place. the direction. Uh, I can the, follow that, good so yeah. far. Uh, and operating a locomotive, you just scroll through the ribbon at the top of the screen and tap on the locomotive you wish to operate. Uh, using the slider to increase or decrease the speed. And I've got all the options on the buttons here telling me what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm looking at the castle here, which you've selected just simply by tapping it yeah. on the ribbon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take it into the platform. So directional control here, and the speed control, pretty simple so far. Yeah, so if you tap the, the sound, uh, sound function on there. there. Let's turn the sound on. And uh, take the brakes off. Okay. Everything else is self-explanatory. Now, it's showing me um, the speed here. This is what we call real speed. How, how's that set? Uh, it's the, all set in the software. Uh, sorry, just have to do that. Okay. Uh, it's all set in the software. Uh, when you upload the profile of your loco using the, the setup screen, uh, the software takes care of the acceleration and the deacceleration for you, so you don't need to change the CVs. And so all this is set by downloading effectively what we call a profile from the Batman website. Uh, it's or already set... already included in the software, right? so you don't even need to do that. As soon as you Blimey. upload the software into your computer, the okay. full database right. uh, of every DCC Ready Loco is already in there. And presumably you can, you can write your own as well. Press the break button there, just uh, as we've gone through there. Okay, and... No problem, just touch the screen. You can do, you don't have to have a touch screen monitor, do you? Presumably you can do this with a mouse and a keyboard if you've not got the touch screen on your laptop or whatever. Yeah, it works just as well with a cursor. So, I mean, it's nice, it's nice to better touch the screen here, but I mean, if you, you this will run on pretty much any laptop you are you're telling me earlier. Yes, yeah, any uh, computer that's got uh, Windows operating system with XP or newer. Uh, it will work quite happily on there. So, yeah, really, really simple. You can, you, you don't have to buy the latest gaming PC no. or anything no. like that. This, this will run. Uh, that's, that's taking off very nicely, like a scalded cat. So, let's wind that down a bit and let it run. Um, it, what are the limitations? Um, how many locos can we have on this? Uh, well, you can operate uh, up to four locos on screen at any one time. Uh, where, as to having things running, you can, in theory, have as, as many locos running at once as you like. Uh, to individually control locomotives, you can have up to four on-screen throttles. You can still operate trains with the Dynamis handset at the same time as operating trains with the software. So it's really, it's really flexible from that point of view. Yeah, and you can also run programs in the background with the uh, locos running automatically controlled by the software itself as well as all of that. Okay, brilliant. One of the features I like is that all the buttons on the uh, touchscreen are labelled, but what happens if I haven't got all those features? I mean, this is a, the, 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 this is a very fully featured loco with all the sounds yeah. and everything. What happens if I've got a basic out of the box, um, no, no, no sound loco, say the um, 24? Well, if you tap on the Class 24, it will bring up the throttle that you would expect to see on a loco that's only got lights. And I can see that most of the buttons are unlabeled. Yep. There's only one that says direction lights on there. So presumably hit the direction lights and that will just, you can just see that changing the uh, lights on the loco, which is, uh, which is really rather nice. And that again will, so there's no sitting there worrying, you're telling me about what, how many functions I've got or anything like that. It's just... 
if the, if the functions are available, they're on the uh, pad. Otherwise, forget about it. Yeah, well, when you upload the profile uh, in the database, this is all done for you. Oh, brilliant. So, like, with the castle, it's fit, it comes fitted with sound. Uh, so, straight out of the box, you put it on the track, you upload the profile, uh, and this will all be filled out for you. Great. So, so even, even an idiot like me can find the... Um, can find the coal shoveling um, yeah. noises really quickly, and I'm sitting there. I'll be honest. This is going to be playtime, <laughs> right? I better take this. I better take this off the layout. So if I do that and then drive it forward, turn the coal shoveling off. So. I left the brakes on. I, the, the, I told you this. You, you, you're going to have to panic a little bit while you're at your sandwiches. But actually, to be fair, I think I think I can get the hang of this. Give me another five more minutes. Yeah. And it's good job on patience. Yeah. Thanks very much, Ben. <laughs> really appreciated.